Theory U as a change model. Theory U is primarily a way of seeing the world differently, in a way that is hopefully better for all humanity. It is therefore a framework from distancing oneself from day-to-day -day execution in a way that allows for a deeper experience. The model builds on seven inflection points. The seven inflection points are 1. Downloading. Reacting to patterns of the past and viewing the world from inside your mind. 2. Seeing. Suspending judgment and accepting that our perception of reality isn't the only one. 3. Sensing. Seeing from the perspective of the system that we're all a part of. 4. Presencing. Transitioning our thinking from the present to the future. 5. Crystallizing. Experimenting with our mental model and investigating possible futures. Identifying paths forward that are quote-unquote best. Prototyping. Developing small-scale tests that validate whether our mental models are right. Performing. Implementing the changes we prototyped into the larger systems of our lives and our world. Let's take a look at each of these in a bit more detail. Downloading. In the downloading stage, we're operating, but we're doing so at an unconscious level. We're operating from within our own frame of reference and rarely stepping outside to understand what else may be happening. Daniel Kahneman would call this System 1 operation. He talks more about that in Thinking Fast and Slow. To get past this, we've got to learn to see outside of ourselves. Seeing. Learning that there are other perspectives than our own may start in childhood, but it can take a real focus to seek out others' perspectives and allow them to clash with ours. Early in our lives, we can't separate what we know from what others know. If we know it, then others should too. But after a few years, we begin to realize that others may not have the same information that we do. In his book, Incognito, David Eagleman explains how what we see is a recreation in our mind. It's a sort of persistent fiction that we've been taught to believe. Seeing is about accepting that Others have different perspectives and learning to be open to them. A seeing is about opening our eyes to see how others may have a different understanding and perspective on the situation. Sensing. In sensing, we begin to see the systems that we're in. Instead of blaming the people for bad outcomes or situations, we begin to realize that the system is designed to create these situations. This is built upon a foundational understanding of how systems work and how iterations through a system can lead to unexpected results. Thinking in systems is a good primer on systems that can facilitate moving through this key inflection point. Presencing. When you're locked in day-to-day -day survival mode, your capacity for future thinking or alternative thinking is limited, as was mentioned in Drive. It explains how stress constricts our ability to think about options. In our quest to create change, we seek to build psychological safety. It's the kind of psychological safety that Amy Edmondson talked about in The Fearless Organization. With psychological safety in place, we begin to shift our perspective of time from the present to the future, or to the possible future. Crystallizing. As we evaluate multiple perspectives, options, and futures, crystallizing allows us to identify the one approach that we believe is best. Crystallizing isn't necessarily rational decision-making, but may be more accurately perceived as recognition-primed decisions, as laid out by Gary Klein in his book, Sources of Power. The mental simulations that occur in the crystallizing stage allow us to identify better and worse options for going forward and to pick the one that we believe is best. Prototyping. The next stage is to try small things to see if they work. One of the challenges we have is we often stop trying things. That is because we don't 
believe they'll work or we're not good enough. In their book, Creative Confidence, Tom and David Kelly explain that we can all be creative, but sometimes it gets criticized out of us. In this stage, the point isn't to be right. The point is to test ideas. Performing. Once you have the pattern working, it's time to replicate the pattern to take advantage of what you've discovered. Michael Gerber in The E-Myth Revisited would think of this as systemization. Richard Hackman, on the other hand, in Collaborative Intelligence, looks at this as the first but essential measure of the performance of a team. He goes on to look at team dynamics and to suggest that performance in and of itself should not be the end goal. Building the process for how to achieve continued success should be. Criticisms and Cautions Theory U requires a substantial personal investment in change and that's difficult to obtain from everyone. You can see the book Change or Die for more about how it's difficult to change some behaviors in people. So Theory U is less of an organizational change model and more of a model for self-discovery.